today we're in the Val de Travers in the middle of the Jura Mountains for the 10th anniversary of the Fondation Qualité Fleurier, who is celebrating his certification process, a very cumbersome one. Actually, there are so many certifications and it's already not clear what is a really good watch, so when you put certification up on that, it makes really something, things very unclear for the customers. What we have to say about the FQF certification is that it is one of the most uh, demanding certification, even the most demanding, because it tests the whole watch. It must be beautiful and reliable to make it simple and short. But it is also very uh, demanding in terms of cost for the brands, because it takes a lot of time. They have to invest into many uh, aspects of the production of the watch, as the conception, as the production, as the process of testing the watches. And all of this make that uh, paradoxically, somehow, the FQF watches are very long to get, are very long to establish and create. So this is to speak a little bit about the FQF certification. But what is amazing about this certification in Switzerland is that you have certification in Fleurier, a little village of the Canton de Neuchâtel where we are, but you have also the Poisson de Genève. Geneva or Mark in Geneva and you have also the cost certification and you have now a new certification from Omega with the Metas. The yeah, we just heard, we just heard, uh, learned about that only a couple of days ago uh, and uh, it's a kind of it was initiated by Omega. So yeah exactly it makes that Omega started something with the Swiss government in the Institute for Metronomy and uh, so it's really a very important label another one a new one and what could be a little bit difficult for the customer is at the end he has a uh, plenty of labels that he have all of them are good but they don't don't test everything and could create a little mess so what we hope is that uh, these cert uh, this certification will be better communicated and also that maybe um, few brands will participate to these certification they will get more involved into them so for instance with the FQF certification uh, it's based in the Val de Travers. There are three brands that are participating in this uh, certification. It's uh, Beauvais Dimier, Parmigiani Fleurier, and uh, Chopin with uh, its uh, Luc uh, watches. But it's not, it's open to every brand. But what it shows also is that Fleurier uh, designates one special place. And Switzerland is very small. The French part of Switzerland is very small and most of watchmaking is made here. But in even that make that you can find some borders uh, between the regions and people are very proud from where you come from. Geneva, the Valais de Joux, La Chaux-de-Fonds, Fleurier, Bienne, Chafouz also. And uh, you can still feel it with this certification, which is, in my opinion, some kind of, somehow a, a weakness of uh, this certification. And then there are even brands that have their own certification process. As Patek Philippe, for instance. So it, I guess it makes it a little bit complicated, but at the end it's all good for the customer because it's really going, I mean, putting the level a bit higher of the, the quality of every watches in terms of chronometry, in terms of, uh, I mean, every, ele every element of the watch. So, it, I mean, it's, it's a good thing. It's just a question of, okay, how do you communicate it? How do the customers understand it? So we'll see about that in a couple of years, how that has evolved.